Good afternoon again. Yep, it's still raining. Or thinking about raining more. Is this crooked? Kinda. That lazy Susan's a little too loosey goosey. This lazy Susan, loosey goosey. But uh, I wanted to show another deck as I pick them up from over there and move them into the closet or one of the closets. I don't think they're all going to fit. But this is the Prisma Visions Tarot um, by James R. Eads. E A D S. It says 79 card. Oh, because of this one. One called Illumination, which I guess I'll read that from the book. This comes very well packaged. I, I don't think it's Amazon. I think it's its own site, which I sometimes don't trust, but. In this case, I believe I had ordered something from him before. Or, yeah, him. But I can't remember now. But it's, you know, it's one of those really nice wish you could teach yourself how to make kind of boxes. I think you can. I forget her name. I watched somebody's channel. Kufen? Kufen? She made it seem awfully easy to do, but I don't think it is. It says inside the box, I'll read this to you since I can take a little longer. The fool believes he is someone he is not, wading through waters for something unsought. The magician plays tricks in the dark of the night, refracting the light of all future sight. A set of cards to tease your mind, revealing a past, present, future combined. Well, he's a poet and a artist. I don't see a date, but maybe in the book. There's another eyeball in there. That's what the back looks like up closer. That's a box. <laughs> and there's the three rows of seven like I usually do. Let's pick up the full card, although there's not much to look at on the full card. It looks like a pelican on a pier, you know. Lifesaver. Strange kind of look. That's what the backs look like. And you may have seen a glint there. They are silver on the edge. All the way around. That's upside down. I can tell up from down. So can you. But that's kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, Let's pick up this illumination. This is an extra card, and we'll read about it in the book here in a second. I think that's a cat. I'm not sure. There's a giant question mark. I always start every journal with a giant question mark. Not exactly that shape, but kind of like that. <coughs> I mean, a question mark. There's some fences like that around here. But I've never seen a sky like that around here. Uh, is it all in there? Okay. And here's the book that comes with it. Inside the box. Oh, the eyes closed. The eyes open. And it's got four pointed star or four triangles or I'm not sure. A polygon. I'll just say that. What year? Copyright 2016. So it's not very old. The print, the paper makes it seem old. Hmm. What was I going to do? I was going to read the illumination card or part of it. Hopefully that'll be okay. Illumination, question mark, period. <laughs> illumination. Yeah, I guess it is a cat. <clears throat> to the cat, the sun is just the sun. It offers its warmth and feeds all living things. The cat does not question the existence of the sun. It just appreciates it. Hmm. Sometimes in life, the answer is right in front of you. You've just been asking the wrong question. That could be true, but I'm fairly certain a neighbor's cat might know more than what she's letting on. I don't know. Uh, but there's those. I do like this hermit, even though you can got to look to find him. The hermit could almost be the moon, kind of. So let's get the first suit in here, since I'm taking too long. 
and you'll notice something in these if I can get them in such a way that you can see let's pull this down and push this up there we go these are the wands and look how the cards connect to each other yeah I need something to point with yeah look how they connect each other there that little background the swirl even and then almost like he knew I was gonna lay them down seven at a time it kind of starts and then a new pattern continues well I guess this would connect to that there's a new pattern right there so it's not really the seven thing but that's interesting I'm not sure it has much to do with actually using the cards but it's interesting to see and observe that's awful big word for you here come the swords I didn't get all of them lined up perfectly because I like this big goose thing look at that oh the goose has got a claw filled with swords ten of them hmm <laughs> take that goose I'm fairly certain the last time I plucked a goose it did not have teeth I see geese every day over by the swimming pool that's where the river makes a big left hand turn well from my perspective but see again how it connects isn't that cool I think it's cool then finish off the bird but here come pentacles I didn't get the nor the typical order right but that's okay just took them out of the box and the, the wall connects the wall falls apart strangely on the four of pentacles hmm maybe that should have been hmm well now you gotta have the stained glass on the five of pentacles you just have to and then it goes on it's interesting to look at I'm not sure it'd be one that I would use but maybe and here's the last suit which is the chalices hey hmm. goes right to there I'll get the ruler out of the way Sorry. It's a little hard to do this. Normally I have cards overlap so they don't fall off the board. But that was a quick, hopefully, show of the Prisma Visions Tarot. Right there. So with that, I will say peace.